Okay, what do we have here, Julia? We have the mold. These are the different molds for the biscuit. Yes. They don't have those stainless thing like that. This uses this the. This design was the, the exact design that was brought in 1600. The design, only the design. And which one is your oldest one here? The method used then was just to get a piece of dough, pack, 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 everything is finished. But the Kapampangan, the Filipinos didn't want that. They want much more intricate and very nice play uh, mold the Nicholas. This belongs to the Hisons, the ancestors of Chef Sao. It is their leaf shape because they were said to be planters, as in Dero. This one belongs to the Warriors of Pampanga. It's a brown shape because round you can balance everything. That's why it's brown. Mm. These are the people from Makabebe Pampanga. And this one was was done for, by my great grandmother, Don Romulo Mercado. It looks like a fish scale because they have his pants as their business. This one is a heart shape because the owners were said to be musicians. And so forth. Okay. The, then when the Pope was here, he was assigned to do it. San Nicolas would be the Pope picture in the middle. And that's a bit, uh, San, uh, the Pope's face in the San Nicolas biscuit. This is it. And this one belongs to the ancestors of the former president of the Philippines, Gloria. As you have Gloria, still inside. This belongs to the family. So if you want a signature cookie, you can leave your picture here. You can hold it like that. And it is serving your visitors with your face on. OK, let's start with the demo. Mix the pan. Yeah, maybe we can mix in the fish product. So this recipe is exempted to the rule of baking. In baking, we must be very accurate in our measurement. But here, there is no major measure. It's more of tancha tancha. Yes, yes. They use their hands. Our ancestors use their hand uh, for 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 measuring. So they, it doesn't have any measurement. And it is also exempted to baking because either what direction you want to, it's okay. Okay, the ingredients. Uh, we have here cornstarch. Then we have. As I have said, this recipe doesn't have any rule. Just put all the ingredients together. And then you look to the left and look, look to the right, and nobody is around. You, whether you wash your hands or not, you can make it chicky 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 chicky, and everything is finished. <laughs> That's how easy it is. But now you are here, so I have to use my sandlock. <laughs> I wouldn't allow that. Yeah. It's one half cup of margarine. I have pronounced it margarine because I'm still in the Philippines. But when I go to your place, I pronounce it margarine. And I have one cup of sugar, one half cup of oil, one half cup of milk, coconut milk, cow's milk, evaporated milk, any kind of milk, of course, except breast milk, because that's only for the babies. I'll mix it with left and right, no direction, two directions. And I will be using only four egg yolks because I'm going, I am going to buy the I, I bought them 
But in the past, they used plenty of egg yolks because they just fall in line in the church. And they will bring a basin, and the priest is very happy to meet them, giving them all the egg yolks that they need. But these days, you go to the church. The priest will not give you anything, but ask you, do you have anything for me? And I will be adding one tablespoon of baking powder. I use one and one half cups of cornstarch, so I'll be adding also the same amount of third glass flour. Third glass flour. If you don't have third glass, you can use 70% of uh, all purpose flour and 30% of cornstarch to make this third glass flour. So, we'll be adding it all together. So, out of this dough, you can make many cookies. You can add oatmeal cookies to have oatmeal. Uh, you can add oatmeal, excuse me, to have oatmeal cookies. And you, have, you can add ostrich trainings to have angel cookies. And you can put more flour and then roll it, cut it, and put a little filling inside. That is the pasta one. The pasta one was used during the first anniversary of Malola's Malola's <coughs> adding more flour until you get this uh, right consistency. Mm -hmm. You need it carefully with your hands, especially for us guests, you must be very careful so that our arms will not be as big, very big, and we can wear sexy dresses. Mm -hmm. But for the gentlemen, they have to make a chink, 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 so that when they go around, they will have a very large muscle. Am I right? <laughs> okay. We have brass in our kitchen. The brass. During those days, they did not have any. So what they did was to make pisik pisik, which means to sprinkle. Warsi warsi in Ilocano. Pisik pisik in Kapampangan. Pisik pisik in Tagalog in Bisaya. And nowadays we have scale. We have scale. During those days, they didn't have any. So what they did was to cut this. In Filipino, So we have to be with the past, they use this method, but it is in Tagalog, in our dialect, no? This is the right size. Please guess. Uh, this is big, and this is a little long. You, you, you make, want to make a si the same size as this, so what will you do? No. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little. Yeah. So I'll be doing the dash that was we told. And that was from our ancestors. They did it and that was in English. Plus or minus. So that is it. Okay, new support are we using? Again, we have no brass, so I make pisik pisik to my mold. <laughs> the kitchen of our ancestors was a very large kitchen. Sometimes there were only around two or three people and there was no electricity, nothing to entertain them. So the poor cooks did not pray, they compose songs and poems inside the kitchen. They have also activity, so that they will have a very nice manner. This is the activity.
You put the dough in the middle, press it. Now, middle up, middle down. Middle up, they will sway their body. Middle down. So that then when they go to the church every Sunday, they have a Coca-Cola body, like the rich people. How come your body straight? Because I make my son Nicholas like this. That's why I have a straight body. Yeah, the Coca-Cola bottle looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the family size, one gallon of Coca-Cola. Oh, this is it. Now we have to cut this. In the past, they have a pretty cutter made of silver, and they call it Giritil. But nowadays, I just, I bought this at the supermarket, then I just press it like that. I'll make another one, the round one. So imagine if you ordered 10,000 of that, it will take you how many days to do it? Yes, uh, this is the round one. I have one, I will take this opportunity.